New tonight, costly connections. Cell phone users in New York State are paying the third highest taxes in the entire country. That's according to a new report by the Tax Foundation. How many of us actually pay any attention to the breakdown of charges on our monthly bill? Chances are you look at the total cost, you pay it, you never give it another thought. But News 4's Luke Moretti is taking a closer look in tonight's special report. Today, we're very connected. Texting, emails, surfing the web. Done from smartphones, something many of us can't live without. I know I go crazy when my phone's dead, so well, without a phone, without service, I'll probably lose my mind. But the price of being connected in a wireless world can add up very quickly, especially in New York State. And if you want to have your cell phone, then you're going to choose to be taxed at a higher rate than what the typical tax rate is. Take a look at this. The Tax Foundation found that New Yorkers pay the third highest cell phone taxes in the nation, an average of about 25 percent when you factor in federal, state, and local taxes, fees, and government charges. Charges. That's pretty high, like the third highest, you know what I mean? The third highest, only behind Washington State at number one and Nebraska in the number two position. This tax is based on your residence and it's based, where, based on where your phone line is. Scott Drankert is the director of state projects for the Tax Foundation, a nonpartisan think tank based in Washington, D.C. The reason why we're seeing higher taxes is because there's so many different jurisdictions that are allowed to tax your wireless service. Uh, you get taxed at the federal level through the Universal Service Fund. You get taxed at the state level through your state and local sales taxes. And then you get taxed at the local level. Orchard Park resident Candace Johnson is well aware of what she's paying. It's frustrating. It's very frustrating. <laughs> Kay Zulager is the CEO of the Bill Police, a company that helps corporations and consumers manage and save on their cell phone costs. Watch your taxes. There's a couple cases where uh, different things are taxed at different rates. So smartphone might be taxed at a 4% rate and tablets might be taxed at a 3% rate. We find mistakes in every bill every month that we look at. So it's definitely worth it to take a look at it, just eyeball it. But a lot of us don't always Always look at every single charge that shows up on the monthly bill. I'm definitely going to pay a little more attention now. Uh, I should have been in the first place. The Tax Foundation found that price competition resulted in a large reduction in the average monthly cost of wireless service. But consumers didn't fully benefit because taxes, fees, and surcharges remain high. They're actually not paying more. They're just paying more in taxes and surcharges, but less to the cell phone provider. Stephen Elwell is the vice president of Level Financial Advisors in Amherst. Yeah. If the taxes and surcharges keep going up, you may have consumers say, why is my cell phone bill going up when I haven't actually added any additional services? So they haven't actually seen the effect, the benefit of the increased competition uh, because the taxes and surcharges have gone up and sort of negated the savings that they would have had. Now, according to the Tax Foundation, wireless consumers will pay an estimated $17 billion in taxes, fees, and government surcharges to federal, state, and local governments this year. And in case you're wondering, Oregon, Nevada, and Idaho pay the lowest wireless taxes. Luke Moretti, News 4.